today we are going to be collaging our warm and cool colored painted papers onto our tag board for our final birdhouse picture. I'm going to start by writing my name on the back of my large piece of paper. I'm going to flip it over and use the other side. First, I need to rip up all of the paper. I'm going to start with the warm colors. I'm going to tear the shorter side, not the longer side, the shorter side. You just hold it gently with one hand and rip it with the other. Try to keep the pieces about the same size all the way down. Tear it slowly so they don't become too big on one end and too small on the other. You want to try to tear in a straight line. Do one piece at a time. Everyone at your table can work together to tear all the pieces of paper. Once all the pieces of paper at your table have been torn, put them in the basket or the box. Then as a group, you'll be able to use all the pieces together to complete your works of art. I'm going to get my piece of tag board. This board is a little bit thicker, so it should hold all the paper a little bit sturdier with the glue. I'm going to twist it and I'm going to put it on the back of one of my strips of paper. The yellows, oranges, and reds are the warm colors and those colors are going to be our sky. That's going to go on the large piece of paper. Make sure you glue them down so the pieces touch both sides of the paper. We do not want to see any of that yellowish color showing, so we want to make sure we move it just a little bit to touch both sides of the paper. You can also flip it over and rub it on the back to make sure the glue is stuck. That looks good. Now I'm going to get another strip and I'm going to do the same thing. Then I can use maybe different ones. I'm going to try to do a different one next to this one so they're not too similar. Remember, we are using the warm colors for the sky. That's your yellows, your oranges, your reds. Those are going to go on the big piece of paper. Glue them down carefully, making sure it touches both sides of the paper. You want to glue them down horizontally on your paper. If your paper strips stick off the edge of your paper, your paper is turned the wrong direction. You need to turn it horizontally. We are making a landscape, so it needs to be turned horizontally so it's landscape orientated. Now I'm going to continue, uh oh, so my glue piece right here, okay, I need a little more glue. It's not sticking, so I'm going to put a little more glue in there. It's okay if it oozes out, you can use your finger to wipe it up. We want to make sure all these pieces get glued down nice and flat. Rub it on the back to make sure it's sticking, count to 30. If you need to to make sure it's going to stay check those edges make sure they're lined up that looks good and oh there's another spot I need to get with some more glue so I'm going to do this and cover the whole paper you don't want to have any of that paper showing through once you have colored the whole paper flip it over and rub it on the back to make sure it's nice and flat make sure to put some glue in those spots that are sticking up that looks good Count to 30, press and hold, so that way you know the glue is stuck. Once you are done, we're going to put this piece on the drying rack, and we're going to clean up our warm colored paper. Now I'm ready to move on to the cool colored paper. I have my greens, my blues, and my purples. Again, I'm going to start by writing my name on my piece of paper. This piece of paper is smaller. It is smaller because it is for the birdhouse. The birdhouse is going to be made with our cool colors. Again, I'm going to do the same process. I'm going to put the glue on the back of the paper and then stick it on to the tag paper so that way it will stay in place. Press and hold. Now this paper is longer than the paper that we are gluing it onto. That's okay. We will trim off the extras after the glue dries. We will trim off the extra pieces after the glue has dried. I want to make sure I cover the whole thing. Again, if it sticks off the edge, that's okay. We're going to trim it up. Continue this until the whole piece is covered. Flip it over. Press and rub and hold and count to 30 to make sure it is nice and stuck and flat. It's okay if you get some glue on the table. You can rub it off with your fingers or get a paper towel if you need to. It's okay to wash your hands when you're done as well. Now I'm going to make sure this goes on the drying rack as well along with my other one. 